Hello peoples, this is Glasses Freak, and I am the other guy that you did videos with a long time ago. GG George, a good game, you know. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. basically we're going to do a podcast. My yeah. idea. Yeah, it's it was George's idea. He's like, hey, why don't we do a podcast about uh, Super Smash Brothers 4? I, I like calling it Super Smash Brothers 4. I mean, I know it's called Wii U or 3DS. I don't care about yeah, that either. title. That title's weird. Just, but, you know, whatever. Basically, just Smash Bros. 4 is good enough for now. Yeah, and basically we're just going to be talking about it. The 3DS version may... Mon I can't even talk. The 3DS version mainly just because... It uh, just came out in Japan. Yeah, and so that's that's pretty cool. So, I think we're going to gonna be doing that. We're going to be talking about, you know, the characters, stages, anything else that comes to mind, and then we're going to end it. That's, yeah, and that's we, have, it. we have three more weeks for the game, uh, to wait for the game, so yay. Yay, yeah. And we get the demo next week, so we'll be playing some of in that. In America? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Yes! Happy America! I'm happy for about that. Okay, so, um, now we're going to talk about the characters. Yeah, we'll talk about some of, like, the new characters. Uh... Returning like characters that haven't been announced yet are Dr. Mario, Wario, Ganondorf, Falco, Ness, Mr. Game & Watch, and Rob. And the newcomers that haven't been announced yet on the site are Bowser Jr., Dark Pit, and Duck Hunt Dog. Yeah, because they haven't actually announced those, have they? No, not yet. Well, maybe, I don't know prior to the time we do this video, but like, maybe it's announced like in a couple weeks or like when the full game, or when the all the game comes out in, in the, the rest of the world. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I want to see the uh, announcement trailers. If they would make an announcement trailer, I don't think the, the only two things I could think of they would make it for is either Bowser Jr. or Duck Hunt because... Dark, Dark Hunt would be really cool Dark, to see that. Dark Pit was in the end of the Palutena trailer, remember yeah. that? Yeah. So, uh-huh. Dr. Mario, I mean, you can't really make a trailer. If they, Maybe they can bind all of those into a trailer. Well, I don't think Game & Watch isn't going to be in a trailer because he was in the end of the pack one, man. Uh, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, besides him and a couple other people, yeah. Um, that'd be cool. Dr. Mario is actually the only character so far to be like cut out from like a single game and then return to the next one. Uh-huh. So all the people that are like, we want Ice Climbers, just wait five years until the next game. <laughs> yeah. Because they don't exactly make them fast. And you might get Ridley, too, if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I think we should talk about the new characters first, and then yeah, some which, of the Which old... one caught your eye the most? Um, I like... Uh, let's see. I really like the Villager. The Villager, he was one of the first people... He actually was... No, Mega Man was the first no, person No, Villager be was. Villager was the first person... Oh, yeah, because yeah. it started out in Animal Crossing. Yeah. Yeah, Villager was the first person to uh, start out the the Super Smash Brothers. The first character thing. actually to be announced for the entire game uh -huh, was Villager or shown. Uh -huh. Well, obviously Mario was going to be in it, but out of the newcomers, that was the first one that yeah. you didn't know was going to happen. So, yeah, the Villager, I really like the Villager. Yeah. You know, with all its moves and stuff, taking the bowling Animal ball, Crossing. the cutting down the tree. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I've played Animal Crossing. I don't think you've played Animal Crossing. I, I don't know. Maybe I have, but if I have, I don't remember anything about it. Yeah, because, and I definitely like how they're staying to the roots of Animal Crossing and such. Basically, uh, they're like pulling up, or making, planting a tree, that was interesting. Yeah, and that was axing cool. it down, or, you know, cutting it down. And you have to water it too, it's kind of cool. I know, I like that, and like, it hits the other player, and I like the, I really like the final smash. Basically, uh, that was <laughs> the, the Tom Nook thing. Yeah, basically what that was is, in the game you could buy a house, and then he would construct it for you. And so basically, they're just building a house around the character. And then it blows up at the end. Yeah, I like that. And let's see, who else? We're uh, just going to go pretty fast. What about my, my? What about the character I want to talk about? You? Who do you want to talk about? Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. Oh yeah, that's right. I I really like how Bowser Jr. is like played out. Oh, I love how it's in the Koopa car and yeah. stuff. I really like the alternate skins, too. Yeah, I don't like him. I, okay. would, I would play... I mean, like, it's a good idea instead of adding, like, every Koopaling like oh. they did into Mario Kart <laughs> into the game. <laughs> That's a different discussion all in itself. Like, I like how Bowser Jr. is just the main focus of, like, he... He's the one that's gonna be on, like, the site and stuff. It's not like Alf is on the site, like, how Olimar has the Alf costume, but, like, Bowser Jr. is, like, the main focus. They didn't, like, use uh, Ludwig, which is yeah. his. And, uh, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. I, oh, yeah. Uh, whenever people were talking about, like, Bowser Jr. being in the game, people were thinking either, like, a faster Bowser, like, or, uh, using his paintbrush from, like, uh, not Paper Mario, but Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah. 
but he does have a Super Mario Sunshine reference in there. In the final Smash. Yeah, which is uh, Shadow Mario, and he just paints an X across the screen, and the X stays there, but there's really no way to escape the X, and like, yeah. if you touch the X, like, you get hurt, just like... Um, it was like a paint. It's paint, mm -hmm. and the paint does hurt in the game, like the actual Super Mario Sunshine game. And it's really cool because... It's like not one of those where you can avoid it easily. It just follows the screen. They can't see oh, us. Oh yeah, I'm like doing an X with my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically it's an X across the screen, like painted on the your screen. And his moves are pretty cool too. Like he for his up special, he jumps out of his like Koopa clown car, and then he gets back. And it's a really good recovery. Like you're gonna be near the end of the stage, and then you can jump and you'll make it. Mm -hmm. And the sides, the side special is he gets like. Kind of, it's kind of like Wario's, where he like yeah. he pops out wheels and then he drives from side to side. And his down special, I think, it releases the Mecha Koopa, which was like kind of I don't know from what game they are, but I remember them being from Mario Party as like one of the mini game things. Mm -hmm. And his like uh, last one is just his B move, which is a big steely. It's uh, he just he can charge it up too. It just shoots a giant cannonball. Yeah. And also when Kirby swallows him, he gets like the Bowser Jr. hat in the big seal. He just like brings out a cannon out of his mouth and it's the funniest thing. Oh, ever. you mean Kirby? Yeah, Kirby. Yeah. It's a oh, Kirby yeah. I haven't even thought about the Kirby sucking up. I haven't even seen any of the Kirby things. That yeah. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, and I like how the Bowser Jr. has like the uh, red fist and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, like, the characters. There's also like a fork and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he licks, and then there's like drills, which is one of like the best side smashes I think because it does like multiple damage. Uh huh. Alright. Um, okay, so and should we talk about another character now? Ah uh, yeah, I mean, um, what about Pac-Man? Pac-Man. Pac Pac oh, Pac-Man. Pac-Man's really cool. Pac-Man's final smash is super cool though. I know because you're the original Pac-Man. You're going across the street. Yeah, and you can eat the person like many times. I know, and they turn into like you see the ghost eyes. Yeah, which is super cool. I know. There's like the points and stuff. And I also like, uh... No, one second. I have to, something to say about Pac-Man. Oh. Pac-Man, I heard, is really slow. Like, he feels heavy and, like, slow, kind of. Mm -hmm. People are saying he's, like, the opposite of Sonic, where Sonic is, like, faster, lighter, and he can move much easier. Uh -huh. But Pac-Man yeah. must hit harder, because yeah. Sonic hits, like, light, but, like, Sonic can, like, go and hit the per same person, like, five times really fast. Yeah, that's that's interesting. You oh. like Duck Hunt Dog, don't uh -huh. you? Just a second, one more thing about Pac-Man. Oh. I'm pretty proud of this. So, uh, we, we were predicting who the new character would be for E3, I think. Oh, yeah. Was. Yeah, I predicted Pac-Man. I, I was pre right. I predicted Snake. Uh huh. Oh, Snake didn't even make it in the game. <laughs> I don't. I wasn't. I don't. I don't do I Metal Gear Solid. I like. Episode. I like Snake as a character. He brought something different. Mm hmm. And yeah, so I'm pretty proud. I predicted Pac-Man though. That was you predicted Pac-Man and Ness. I predict. I predicted Snake and Shadow. Oh, I was right about Ness too. We'll talk about that. Well, later. no, you predicted him for E3. Oh yeah, yeah not that's... for the entire okay, game. Okay, you're right. You're right. I was hoping Shadow would get into the game, but uh -huh. sadly he's just an assist. Trophy. Okay. Well, Duck Hunt Dog. Duck Hunt Dog. That's I've, really cool. I've seen like okay, wait, 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 so much about him. Let's rephrase something. It's not Duck Hunt Dog. It's, it's just Duck, duck Hunt. Hunt because it also features the duck, which is weird because you were shooting the ducks and the dog was helping you. Well, people, there is also an alternate skin for Duck Hunt, which kind of looks like Banjo Kazooie. You know who Banjo Kazooie? Yes, is? I, yeah, I know. And also, know people are saying it might be kind of like a Banjo Kazooie reference, since because Banjo does have Kazooie the bird. Oh yeah. So kind of understand that. I That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah, and I also like uh, the final smash. The final smash. It's Even like though it's not the gunman thing, it doesn't actually have anything to do with Duck Hunt. It's just no. kind of the same era. Yeah, but yeah, because they were, cool. like, focusing with Duck Hunt, how they focused with, like, Pac-Man, they focused with Namco. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, with Pac-Man, like, all Namco games, Galaga, and stuff like that. Well, with Duck Hunt, they mo mainly focus with, uh, like, the, uh, the shooting, the shooting games, whatever those called. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's point, or... <sighs> the point and click stuff. No, it's, it's not point, point and click. It's not point and click. Whatever, like, the, like, the, the Super Nintendo gun, whatever that was, which uh -huh. was, ma uh, which was the main focus of Duck Hunt, how, like, Rob, which Rob is in the game, has like the main focus of like the little toy thing, yeah, and like all the toy attributes. And Game and Watch has most of the things from the Game and Watch era, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I really like the Duck Hunt Dog and stuff. I like it how it's kind of like the same, kind of the same thing as Ice Climbers, except they're not the two the same type of character. One's a dog, one's a duck. Speaking of same characters, Rosalina is 
Like, I'll, OP. I know, Rosa, uh, besides the Final Smash. Final, Final Smash is suck. I know, because you can't even move the star, and, and it's like, really easy to avoid. Yeah, I saw a video where, like, somebody put the star, and, like, even, like, a one, uh, level one computer player was just, like, sitting there and not getting hit. <laughs> I saw that. Was that the, uh, game yeah. explaining thing? Yeah. I th that was cool. I like how you can, like, shoot the Luma and stuff. That's really Yeah, but, like, the, you see, it seems like a really, like, I feel like this is gonna be like the new Meta Knight or something. She is like really good mm -hmm. compared to other characters. Yeah, but she does have her like her like uh, little flaws. Whatever yeah, there. I, yeah. I'm gonna have to. But Luma can go away and stuff, so you have to like defend yourself for a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah, that's interesting. The remote thing. That's gonna get hard to use to the remotely uh, fight as Luma. I, I, if I don't think I'm gonna use Rosalina that much. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Depends how she feels. She might not actually be as good as you're led to believe. I don't know. It's mm -hmm. just it's just all how how it plays basically. Okay. Let's go on to Mid Little Mac. He was Little Mac. I like he he's pretty cool. I like the concept of Little Mac. He was an assist trophy which got like put into a regular character. Which mm -hmm. means like say like Kiraham was one of the most wanted characters for the game. Yeah. And he's an assist trophy, so people can, uh, so he has potential to be a playable character in the next game. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about assist trophies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which are cool. And uh, let's see, it's very interesting. He's like, he's probably the hardest hitting fighter. He's the most powerful character. Sakurai like explained that in one of the Nintendo Directs. Well, yeah, more most powerful as in hard hitting, but he's. I like horrible. how you punch the air and they can't even like see what you're well, doing. Well, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just getting in the mood. I was, I was punching the air in real life. No, and how he's horrible in air, though. Like, that's, like, the worst thing. He has like, the worst recovery. They emphasized that so much that he was just horrible in air, and they showed him missing in air and not doing a good recovery in air. It was really funny, actually. Yeah. It's like, he sucks like this, but he's really good at this. Uh, I, the thing I like about this game, it didn't feature that many clone characters. It's the last game, like, newcomer clone characters. Mm -hmm. But it did feature two. It did feature Lucina, which everyone wanted. But there was also Dark Pit, which everyone thought he was going to be alternate costume. Yeah. And he did appear in the end of the Palatina trailer, which kind of, like... I thought e that just meant, like, an alternate costume. At E3, costume. they had, like, a little, uh, thing. Uh, a theme. Mm -hmm. Which was a, appeared the playable, a new playable character that haven't been announced yet at the end of the... Yeah. Thing, which, Mr. Game & Watch appeared, and so did Dark Pit, which led me to believe Dark Pit could be playable in the game. I know, I don't... I mean, Dark Pit does have different moves. I mean, he he's like Falco, he does the same moves, but they're different. Like, he has like an electric arm instead of like the other arm, and he has a different Final Smash. It's more like Sheik's and Zelda's Final Smash, where he uses the Dark Staff and just like points it. He just points it, yeah, I like, saw that. If you look at the picture of him, like how we're looking at right now, uh huh. He is like pointing the stick, it's kind of like that, and then he shoots like a purple laser out of it. Yeah. And it's much more powerful and like... Than Sheik's and Zelda's because did you because I figured out something when when watching all the Final Smashes, every Zelda character got nerfed in their Final Smash. Like, remember how uh, Link and Toon Link got like uh, even if you were on the edge, like it would just send you to flying yeah. all the way off the screen. But in this game, it's like sends you and then you can come back. I know. Same with Ganondorf and Sheik and Zelda. That was interesting. Yeah. So. I know we're we're, gonna, we're not going to be able to talk about all the newcomers, but I think we should talk at least two That's some more. Uh, just, just two more. Oh um, yeah, but there's like four more we could talk about. Right? I know, but we, we, we will, okay. <laughs> Which, I okay. think Me Fighter. Me Fighter. We should talk about Me Fighter. I have created the perfect me for the Me <laughs> Fighter. It's just really bony stick guy, and I want to make him a brawler. And he's gonna like gonna be really thin, and he's just, he's just gonna have like the boxing gloves and everything. It's gonna be funny. Yeah, I really like that they they incorporated the Mii's because they've been they've been a part of Nintendo for a while. When I thought Mii's were gonna get added in the game, I'm like, oh no, it's gonna be like some stupid character taking up another slot. But no, it's like three characters taking up one slot, and you can really customize the Mii's in like your own way. Like say, like I'm just bringing this out of the top of my head. Like you want to put Squidward in the game, put Squidward in the game. Like even though like you can do anything really to put Mii's in the game. Yeah. Which is really cool. Say, characters that you never know. Like, a lot of people want Goku from Dragon Ball Z in the game. <laughs> yeah, but people, I know he, I want him in the game too, but I know he's not going to get in the game. And people could just, like, make a blast for me out of Goku and just make him use, like, his Kamehameha for, like, for the final smash. It's really funny, like, to make me's and, like, make, like, a really sh short and chubby me that can, like, run really fast but is really heavy. Ah. Oh. 
Yeah, it's so funny. Uh, okay, here, I think I should pick the last character. Okay, yeah, because I picked me Fighter. There's really, um, okay, Shulk, pretty much. Shulk was on everybody's wanted list, like, he was on your Christmas list mm -hmm. for the, like, the next character. Yeah. Everything, like, pointed to Shulk, like, there was a tweet about like uh uh when remember the in the middle of the summer there was like the Lucina and Robin trailer uh huh yeah well Monolith Studios retweeted that and everyone's like oh it's gonna be Shulk okay everyone's like oh it's not gonna be exciting uh huh but like when I first saw Lucina I'm like okay it's gonna announce Crom and no Robin but that's not the uh, Robin like really. Robin is the only character to not, like, feature just a sword and stuff. Uh-huh, that's... yeah. Which I... mostly when I play with Fire Emblem characters, I focus with Marth and Ike. And yeah. I like how we drifted from Shulk to... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shulk. The, yeah, so... the Monado stuff looks really cool, but it looks really oh, yeah. tough to use. Because... If like, everyone, switch. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone who's played it so far, like, everyone I know who's played it, has a tough time because... They don't know the different symbols, they don't know like the really different things, and it's, they usually shout it out in Japanese. Mm -hmm. But I think when it comes out in North America and Europe, it's gonna be he's gonna be really fun to use because he's not like a sword character. He's like he's not just a sword character, he's like yeah. more than a sword character. He's like an energy sword character. I know, it's very it's very interesting. It says so yeah, I don't I don't know that much about do you say Xenoblade? Xenoblade. Yeah, yeah. Xenoblade, uh, Chronicles. And I don't I haven't actually played that game. I know a little bit about it. I think I saw someone yeah, I know start nothing playing about it. it. But I still really like the character. I know it's a very underrated popular game, like because it was for like the very end part of the Wii that yeah. got released or something. I don't know. Uh, Just, okay. Don't don't take my word uh, on it. We also have Mega Man, Wii Fit Trainer, Robin, and Palatina, but um, those characters don't really look as interesting as like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, and Greninja, I just totally left out Greninja, and he was like my starter in Next and Y too. Uh -huh. I like, see, me too, most people wanted me too, no one expected Greninja. You couldn't have said, oh, I know they're gonna put and, Greninja in this game. Yeah, and Mewtwo was sadly found as a trophy in the game, which means he's kind of like deconfirmed in some yeah. way. That's that's that was and just sad. And one more thing, like during the during the during the trailer, mm -hmm. when he was charging up the water shuriken, it looked like it was Mewtwo. I was like, okay, Mewtwo's back in the game. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be so excited. I know that's what I. I mean, I don't. I kind of know about Pokemon, but I thought there was gonna be Mewtwo. I didn't know. Like Greninja was. I like Greninja. Greninja was my starter, and I've always liked Greninja. He's like Pokemon, and he's just like really cool. Yeah. Ninja. Okay, so we're about 18 minutes into this. Do you want to talk about some of yeah, the well, old we'll veterans? Yeah, well, we'll just yeah, let's not really focus on the old veterans, but the one I really want to focus on is Dr. Mario. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because technically Dr. Mar Dr. Mario is a veteran. De yeah, because he was in Melee. Uh-huh. But it was, he's just like, he's to get, he. Dr. Mario is a gift to the players who like to play as like the old Mario. Mm-hmm. But he's Dr. Mario. Like, he has a Mario Tornado and everything. He doesn't have the Flood. Uh-huh. Which is... It's basically the same thing... Like, er... Sorry. But about his final Smash, it's basically exactly the same except with pills and stuff. And it's cooler. I know, it looks it looks way cooler. If I had to pick between Mario and Dr. Mario, I had to have to pick Mar Dr. Mario. Just because I haven't played as Dr. Mario, but I've played a lot as... I, I play a lot as Dr. Mario, and I have played the, a lot of the Game Boy uh, the Game Boy version of Dr. Mario. And yeah. It's really fun. Um, any character that you were, like, expecting not to be in the game and, like, got in the game? Um, let me, let me look at the list so I can see on the Super Smash Bros. Wiki, all of these people. You want to go first? I mean, you probably thought of this. Right? Yeah. Were there any for we'll you? Put, we'll put the uh, the link in the description of what we're like <laughs> looking at. Yeah. And, like um, most of the things we reference in this video, like the video of like this final smashes and stuff. Yeah. We'll put that in the Great. link in the description. Okay. Um, um, I was worried about Ike not getting in the game. Ike was my main in Brawl, uh -huh. and I hope I can keep him. But Bowser Jr. is probably going to take over. Yeah, just because Bowser Jr. looks pretty sick. Yeah, but I was worried about Ike. Like, the night, I was like, I was waiting for the picture of the day, like, in May, and in the in the middle of my bed, like, I went to the uh, website, I'm like, wait, that's not, oh my god, it's Ike. And I just start flipping out, like, my computer, like, hits the wall and, like, hits the <laughs> ground and stuff. I, like, go wake up my sister, I'm like, oh my god, it's Ike, and she's like, go to sleep, I don't care. And <laughs> I was excited Ike was in the game. 
Uh, I don't, you know, I didn't really play that much as Ike, but, I mean, Ike is a pretty solid character. I, I like it. Ike is very predictable. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Um, Ike is funny. I was surprised, let's see. Uh, did it, Rob, yeah, Rob made it back into the Rob game. Rob made it back. I was surprised by Mr. Game & Watch and Rob. Why, Mr. Miss... Okay, okay, Mr. Game & Watch I liked. Okay, one second. Every Smash Bros. game ha has had his gag character. You know what a gag character is? Like, it's the for fun character. Yeah. The first game was Jigglypuff. Mm -hmm. The second game was Mr. Game and Watch. The third game is Rob, and probably the new one. Everyone is thinking it was a Wii Fit Trainer, but I have to give the the gag character to the Duck Hunt Dog for this game. Oh yeah, definitely because that's the retro. Thing. But the thing with gag characters, they've never left the roster. Yeah, like, it's weird. I mean, Jigglypuff is in like the first, uh, the twelve original characters, which I think the twelve original characters are going to carry on to every game. Well, yeah, definitely. I mean. If, like, you main, like, uh, Ness or Jigglypuff, you're not, don't worry about, like, the next game. Mm -hmm. People were worrying, at, uh, of Captain Falcon at one point. Like, oh no, Captain Falcon's not gonna get in the game. He was gonna get in the game for sure. He was yeah. the most popular character, most memed character in Smash <laughs> Bros. Which I think is, like, I tried to main Captain Falcon. I like playing as Captain Falcon, but I suck as Captain Falcon. Mm-hmm. I could probably beat you with Captain Falcon. Probably, so. probably. Yeah. So, um, were there any characters that were in previous games that you wanted to be in this game but weren't? Really? Like, I'm thinking. I wanted to see Roy from Fire Emblem. Oh, okay. He was a clone of Marth, but Marth does have a Roy outfit, which is kind of cool. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. And Ike has a Chrome costume or a Chrome costume. Mm-hmm. And ah. Uh, yeah. What else is there? Falco I knew was going to be in the game. Same with Wario, Ganondorf, Falco. I knew those guys were going to be in the game. Wario was like mentioned once kind of by accident. <laughs> Remember yeah. in like the eShop he was put in there. Ganondorf was uh, shown and accidentally like off to the screen of one of like, the picks. Falco I just knew was going to be in the game. Like over Wolf, I knew Wolf was your main. But mm -hmm. rest in peace Wolf, sorry. Sorry for your loss. Well, I mean Fox and Falco, or not like if you yeah. like if I'm You're asking gonna... you this, if, uh -huh. if it was between Falco and Wolf, who do you think would get in the game? Falco, definitely. Yeah, because Falco's been in since Melee. Yeah, and Wolf has just been in Brawl, right? I like I like Falco's character because he has a, like little kick thing, which yeah. Like, any characters that you were excited to see get announced? Like, oh, I was excited for Duck Hunt Dog. Duck I mean, Hunt technically Dog. he hasn't been announced yet, but obviously he is in the game. He's in the game. Uh -huh. I even, like, Facebook messaged you the leak, and you're like, oh, it's not real. Well, I mean, I thought, okay, just a little quick thing about the leak. I wish I would have seen the leak, just in general. Yep. Just because I, it ruined the surprise. Blame your brother for that. I know he told me about it, but then you told me about it, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, okay, I did so believe the leak was real, but the hype was never killed for me because, I mean, I've always wanted to know what the full roster would be like. I didn't, I didn't want... Like, I was, like, worried about some characters, so I'm like, give me the full roster, I don't want to be worried anymore. Uh-huh. I, I yeah. was, like, the one I was most worried about was Ike. He was the most, like, troublesome for me. I'm like, please <laughs> be in the game, I know it's been, like, a uh, thing, I'm like, Chrome, uh, Chrome's gonna be in the game. Like, that's what everyone thought, it's just gonna be Marth and Chrome. But at least we got a non-swords guy. Yeah, that's... That's good. Yeah, so with the... You know, I just want Nintendo to announce it as it's intended. I just want the website <laughs> to be updated. Yeah, I know. That's, I mean, that's I mean, annoying. I know the website's not updated, but I want it to be updated because I just want to see... Yeah. I don't even know why I want to see it. I just want it to be updated. Okay, do you want to... Uh, Move on to a different topic? Yeah, besides characters. We've been talking about characters for like 20 Here, we'll, minutes or we'll something. We'll go back to characters at the very end. Maybe, yeah. Um, okay, so... Um, not, I, let's not... Okay, let's talk about the 3DS stages, not the Wii U stages. Why not the Wii U stages, man? Because we're on the 3DS page and not I the Wii okay, U page. Okay, I guess. Oh, is this the 3DS? No, it's just... No, it's I'm, both. I'm on the 3DS. Oh! <laughs> okay. Um, I don't... Okay, Okay. Fine. Um, a uh, stage I was hoping to see and I got to see was WarioWare. WarioWare? Where it's, oh, shoot. Now I have to actually look. look yeah, WarioWare Incorporated. Remember that stage where it was like... It's right there. Oh yeah, it's right there. I like that game. That that stage was really fun for me. I remember like usually when I play Smash Bros for fun, mm -hmm. I go to that stage. Here, let's talk about new stages that stand out. What about like stages that you like? Yeah, yeah, that's what oh, I'm yeah. doing. Do I only have? Do I have to only talk about 3DS stages? Five. Yeah, because we're this. Okay, we'll start with 3DS stages because that's the most. Uh, okay, announced. yeah. Okay. And I'm on the 3DS um, page. So. Yeah. Well, I have 3DS exclusive. 
PictoChat got an update to PictoChat 2. I know, I, I'm excited for PictoChat 2. I haven't actually seen any of the stage. Well, there's like a little guy with like laser beams pointed at the uh -huh. eyes. But, but I'm pretty sure... I like how you actually cool. go to the PictoChat page. Mm -hmm. What? I like how you actually go to the PictoChat page. Well, okay, I was, I was like, okay, that's gonna waste time. I was hoping for... Uh, Find... Oh, sorry, you can go. I was hoping for a, a new Sonic stage for the... The 3ds, but we got green hose. Uh huh. Now. Again, I was hoping for like uh the uh no, what is it called? I don't know. Oh, uh, oh yeah, like uh Sonic Colors, like stage from 3ds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Find Me, which is like that mini game on the 3ds, that was interesting. I was not expecting that. I I was expecting that because I saw a picture of the day. Mm -hmm. I like uh, also here. We're, we're, let's just take like a couple sentences about each or about the stages that I. Pick, or you pick, or whatever. Okay. Spirit Train, that looks pretty cool. Spirit Train was pretty much the decon the uh, deconfirmed Toon Link, but everyone was like, remember? Because it was Toon Link. Oh, yeah. In, and, in the thing. But... Yeah, and everyone was like, ah! And then Alfonso like is in the game when Toon Link's playing on yeah. the stage. People thought that meant that it wasn't. Um... Yeah. Dreamland stage looks so good. Weird. It's just a Nintendo thing. Look where I'm... It's the middle. It's like the exact middle. Oh, I see that. That looked really cool. I mean, like... everyone thought it was a Game Boy stage, but it's a it's a Dreamland stage. It's I know. It's so cool. It looks really cool. Because it's like moving, and I think that's like a little bit of like soccer I love, too. It's like first <laughs> game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I like 3D Land. That looks pretty cool. Rainbow Road looks pretty cool. Have you seen Mute City yet? Mute City. It's uh the the one. Oh, I yeah. haven't seen that. That, that is that looks like that the original. Is a, that is the coolest stage ever. Oh my goodness, I want to see that. Paper just... Mario is also such a good stage. That looks really cool, actually. Paper Mario, I haven't seen the that. one that like moves. It's like <laughs> uh huh. That look, yeah, yeah. That would be definitely cool. Um, let's see. Uh, or the the Tomodachi Life was kind of cool. Uh huh. And yeah. Same with the Tachimir <laughs> Island. I'm assuming they're gonna take the Mies. I'm excited to see my Mies in Tomodachi Life. I'm excited to see my Stick Man in Tomodachi. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see. Pac Maze looks really cool. Pac Maze. I I'm kind of mad because Pac Man got two separate stages. Uh huh. Like, yeah. I mean I mean Sonic I know has two separate stages, but Mega Man only got one, which was kind of annoying. I was yeah. hoping for another Mega Man one, but that's pretty much. Oh it. yeah, Pac Man did because one on the Wii U, one on the Wii. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, no, one on the Wii U, one on the 3DS. Yeah. And, uh, let's see, uh, the the what? Nintendo Dogs. Nintendo Dogs, that's that kind of like, that's Duck Hunt's home stage. Yeah. Pretty um, much. And those are the Wii U stages. Yeah, I'm looking at the Wii U stages. I, I can't see the Wii U stages, so I have to Here, look, you at look, at, look at my screen. Pretty much there's nothing, like, really... No, 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 no. Oh, pretty much know. nothing exciting. Windy Hill. When I know Sonic got a new stage for that. Yeah, for, uh, for the thing, yeah. What else? Um, uh, Palatina's... We've... Temple is probably the biggest stage ever. Uh huh. Yeah, that's huge. I would not want to play as Little Mac in that stage. Ha ha ha. Because he's too little. Yeah. No, and because I hope. Okay, this is one thing I hoped for, and I think I got it, but I don't know if I got it uh -huh. yet. I was hoping for Jigglypuff every time she got her final smash to get big, like big, depending on how big the stage is. Because if it's like oh. on Palatina's Temple, she's she's gonna Ooh. get like really like small. Oh, like, yeah. But I hope she gets bigger depending on the stage. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, let's see, Mario Super, Galaxy. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Mario Galaxy looks like a really good stage, and so does Skyloft. All right, one thing I liked was the Final Destination like thing to every stage. Hmm. Final Destination got like a, a stage for every stage. Oh yeah, that was cool. That is, I mean, I love that. I love just gonna be flat. Final Destination is my favorite stage because it's a flat one. But I'm, I think my favorite stage now is Mario Galaxy Final Destination. Mhm. Mm yeah, that, those look really cool. I'm not sure. Pac Land was interesting just because I've never actually heard of that game before. Uh, I. But you his, know, whatever. I don't know if his, his design is from Pac Land, but he has Pac Man Roll Two design too. Pac-Man. Oh, okay. Which is kind of weird because in Pac-Man he has a hat, but in Pac-Man World 2 he doesn't have a hat. <laughs> I'm I'm actually... Okay, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited that Pac-Man didn't give Ghostly Adventures. Ghostly... Oh, you mean the new game? No, the new the new TV show. Oh, oh my goodness, my brother was watching that just this morning. <laughs> and I looked at it and I was like, okay. I, I was excited, like, we, did, we got Pac-Man with, like, He's normal, and uh, yeah, I like his look with the eyes that look like Pac-Man. Once you've seen that, you can't unsee that. Go back, yeah, exactly. Um, what's our next topic? Cause I think we're pretty much done with stages. Yeah, basically. Um, what do you want? Any about stage? About? Okay, any stage you wanna, you wanna like, just uh, a little more about? Yeah, any stage you wanna see return? Oh, return. Yeah. 
to the Wii U version? Um, I don't know. There weren't actually that many stages that stood out to me in Brawl. One of the stages I want to return for Melee is the... Well, it wasn't Brawl 2, it was the one Kirby stage. The Kirby? With the tree and the falling block. Oh, that's from Melee, yeah. Yeah. That okay, was interesting. Well, there's, oh, also. there's a mini game I, I invented. I don't know <laughs> if I invented, but... I, I made up. I don't know if anybody else made up, but I'm giving credit to myself now because okay. I know. We're gonna play that, and I'm gonna we're gonna do Smash Bros. But I don't know if we're gonna do it today. But well, I wanna do something with you, like mini games I've made up, like Pokemon, like you throw Pokeballs at each other, and that oh. one thing. But it's gonna be a surprise for you guys. I don't that'd know be you know. that'd be cool. Okay, it's, just oh one stage that stood out to me in Brawl that I think I wanted to come back. Oh. I don't think it Super Mario Sunshine. That's the one I was thinking of that right was, now. Oh, really? That's exactly what I was thinking. That, that of. one was really cool. I think like, it looked exactly like the I, actual thing. I, okay, that actually might come back to the Bowser Jr. I hope so. I, I hope love so. that stage. So, I like the stages that it takes place, like, entirely in a uh, exactly replicated it's ex thing. I know. It flies around and stuff. Kind of like Pilot Wings and uh, Skyloft from Skyward Sword. But I really do cool. want Mario Sunshine, now that you say it. I was thinking of that. There's, like, one more stage I... I know there's one more stage I want. And uh -huh. it was Mario Sunshine. Shoot, should I look up Brawl stages really fast? No, no, it's okay. No. I think we're good. Okay, I, uh, well, if, if you don't know any other stages, I mean, it's not that important. Yeah. It's pretty much the stage that you remember. It's the stage that you want. Yeah, definitely. Um, or, uh, yeah. So, what else do you, what do you want to talk about? Or is um, there's pretty much some of the game mechanics. Like, I heard the game is faster than Brawl. And, like, mm -hmm. it is... Well, faster than Brawl. Faster than Brawl. Yeah, okay. A little bit faster. Uh-huh. Uh, classic mode, I like the little twist they added to it. You can choose your direction and stuff. Oh, yeah, I saw I saw some of that just because... Uh, Did I you saw, watch like, any of the live streams? No, I didn't. No. I watched live... I watched... The J Witch's live stream, which was really fun. Mm hmm. I saw uh, the. What do you call it? Um. I saw just unlocking Ness. Oh, really? From, yeah. Which is. So that's where Wait, I saw the path. Where'd you see that? Oh, Game Explain? Okay. It said unlocking Ness because you have to beat, like, the final boss or something. You know, the and more people we mention, the more people we have to put in the description. I know, I was thinking about that. So let's just say, um, there was some video that I saw. Yeah, but now we, we've said the J Wits and the Game Explain. <laughs> you know, so. whatever. We might have a link to. to well, we will, because that's where look, we got our info from. Guys, you can just you can just look it up if we don't have it in the description. Because we might forget. This is you, a know long the, video. you know the internet, they're too lazy. Yeah, exactly. It's descriptions, man. What? No offense. Okay, um, let's see. Um, I don't. Oh, I was. Oh, yeah. The the, the what was that? That weird mode. Remember where you smash collect, run? Yeah, where you collect stuff. That, at the that's beginning, like and then, a, from something from Kirby era. Yeah, because that also was by uh, game. The, yeah, and that game was like one of the most um, underrated games ever. Really? Yeah. The air ride? No, like uh, it was the, one of the best games ever. Uh -huh. so I haven't. Fun. I haven't played it. See, so, I don't know. This is what I mean. It is underrated. Yeah, apparently. it is. Like, it takes the mechanics from that. But Smash Run does look like real. It looks really fun. And, and when I pick up the copy of 3DS, that's the first thing I'm gonna go do. Yeah, definitely. Whoa, are there not that many Wii U stages? No, they have. Okay, go up, go up a little bit. Oh, so those because... are like together. Oh, I see, I see. I Battlefield, see. Uh, Little Mac, Go Boxing Planes, Ring. and Wily's Castle. Okay, I was just I was just looking at the site. I was confused. Okay, a game of character we just explained. Okay, um, what's next on the list? Oh, uh, what did we write down? Oh, Wii U, so oh, we we're talking about the Wii U version. No, we haven't. Okay, well, uh, what? Okay, like Wii U version, I think is gonna have like something Smash Run related, but it's not gonna be exactly Smash Run. It's gonna be something yeah. different. But it's gonna have its own special thing, which is gonna be like probably the better than Smash Run. I yeah. think. I hope it has cutscenes like last time. I hope it does have cutscenes. Cause that was a lot of cutscenes in Brawl. I've like heard this lot. thing, like, I've heard this leak around the internet, I don't know if it's real. It's probably not, but I like believing in leaks. <laughs> yeah. See, this is what happens when you believe leaks. That kind of comes true. Well, if you... Just... Most links, over half links, or leaks. Leak. Yeah. More than more than most of the leaks came, uh, were fake. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Um... What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. I saw this leak where it's like it's gonna be kind of like an adventure mode, but it's gonna be like it's gonna be classic mode and the uh, the subspace emissary uh -huh. combined in the one, and it's gonna be like bad guys, and then there's gonna be like at the very end there's gonna be Mario shaking Bowser's hand, Link shaking Ganondorf's hand, and this was really weird to me. It was Samus shaking Ridley's hand, mm. which was weird, but. That's and then Ma and then they all team up against Master Hand and kill Master Hand and uh -huh. the world is saved. Master Hand's always the bad guy. But 
Okay, I think we're pretty much almost done here, but the last thing I want to get into uh -huh. is since there's like pretty much four empty slots in the in the 3DS version that can fit characters. Uh huh. What character would you like to see join the game? Oh wow, um, they already have a lot of Mario characters. Probably not one of those. Well, the E Gad, you know uh, Luigi's Mansion, but e that weird old guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Of course, I wanted to see him in Mario Kart 8, which is interesting. Yeah, which was, I kind of show I sent you a picture of, like, another leak from Mario Kart 8. Oh, yeah, which wasn't had... true. Well, was it, it kind of was... Well, you never know, they might make more DLC, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, the DLC. You're okay, right. we're not talking about Mario Kart Okay, yeah. Um, um, so, you said Egan. No, I was joking. Um, I don't know. Probably, oh, boy. Probably more classic characters. Like, I think maybe... Oh, I'm hoping... Difficult. I'm hoping Eggman... From the Sonic series, joins again. Eggman. Eggman. Dr. Oh yeah, Robotnik. because he's the bad guy. He's the bad guy, and it, he looks really. He could work out really well. He has like different things. Mm hmm. Uh, he looks different now yeah. and stuff. No, but he they, doesn't look I different. Like, he's never looked different. He's always had like the same, pretty much the same design. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll talk about that after this, but um, or not on the. Never mind. Okay, anyway, what do you want to say? Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of video game characters, so. Picking one, pretty is much pretty like everyone's favorite. Difficult. Everyone's favorite right now is Ridley and Mewtwo. Like that's who. That's the n number. They're tied for number one spot and like the uh -huh. most wanted characters ever in Super Smash Bros. history. We should think. Okay, really fast. This is like the ending right now, but we should think. We should just yell out names of characters no, no, no. and we point think, at each other. No, no, no. We should, yeah, <laughs> point at each other. No, we should think about uh, non Nintendo characters. What would be really funny to see? The most kind of monkey ball. But that is Nintendo, isn't it? No, that's Sega. On the Sega. Sega. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a Sega yeah. character. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, let's see. <laughs> Freddy the Bear from Five Nights at Freddy. No. That would be funny. No, one. Bomberman. I want Bomberman in the game. Bomberman would be cool. Bomberman has potential to be in the game. Uh, let's see. Oh, you just ruined the video by saying Five Nights at Freddy's. So. <laughs> this is because that's just so popular. I got someone asked me to to play that game. I'm like, no, I'm not okay, playing. Don't, don't, don't play. I'm not gonna play that. You played Slender, which was pretty funny, but back to Smash. Okay, so um, I don't know. Bomberman is pretty much my number one pick for the game. I know, Bomberman. I'm not sure. Just all joking aside, I think the just okay. One last thing, the whole roster in general is amazing. Uh huh. It's pretty amazing. Some of the characters I could do without. Some characters I might. But it's pretty much the best roster we've had so far. Yeah, because it's it's big. It's big. There's a lot of people. It's big. It's gonna be fun to. The bigger play the better. All of them. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I just the roster in general. I like it. Yeah. They could have improved a little bit on it, but you know I like. Don't, it. don't complain. I'm okay. Don't I won't. complain. <laughs> we got a good roster. Yeah. You know I'm happy with it. You know I'm content. Whoever they put in the game, I'll play as them, and it'll be fine. If it's Bomberman, I'll just. Yeah, I think, I think, do you think that's it? Yeah, pretty much it. But. Okay, so yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, share it, be sure to comment down below, and tell us, you know, some of your thoughts about tell Smash. Tell us what character you want, except for Mewtwo or Ridley, because if you say Mewtwo or Ridley, we will block you. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Go check out, uh, GG George's channel. Yeah, my channel's in the description. He's gonna be doing stuff. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done stuff for the last three weeks, because <laughs> I've been focusing on, like, reworking my room and doing school stuff. So. Yeah, so basically, yeah, he's uh, he's gonna be doing stuff. Be sure to support him. He's He needs he needs more people. No, I don't. No, okay. <laughs> okay. No, but, like, my channel's, like, kind of going under now because I have taken such a long break uh -huh. over, like, a month. But I do have videos ready. Okay. But I just don't have the time to post them because I have too much, like, schoolwork and stuff. So, yeah, I guess... And I Destiny came out, and I'm like, I can't record that, and I promise I would record that. <laughs> and I'm kind of giving a channel update info with your video. We need to end this video. Stop promoting your channel so much. <laughs> I'm not promoting it. I'm demoting it, saying I haven't done anything. Okay, well, whatever. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. <laughs>